Among many of the products that were released or unveiled at the Samsung Unpacked event, these products being the Galaxy S10 lineup, the Galaxy Fold, one of the other products was a Samsung Galaxy Watch, more geared towards the fitness type people. It's the Samsung Galaxy Active Watch. It's supposed to be a newer, slimmer, and cheaper version of previous Samsung watches. So this is tailored towards the activity user, someone who's active, who wants to track all their health data, and supposed to be a competitor to the Apple Watch. Supposed to be, we're not entirely sure, because from a price point perspective, it's much, much cheaper than the Apple Watch Series 4. So yeah, let's get that sure. out of the way. How much is it? So it's $199 from samsung.com, but there's a cool perk. It'll be available on March 8th, but if you pre-order that from their website, you'll get a free Samsung wireless charging pad along with that. You can't really compare the Samsung Galaxy Active to the Apple Watch. We feel like those are sort of in different categories. So what are we comparing it to? I would say it would be more tailored to like the Fitbits or the okay. Garmin type of active watches in that in that ballpark. So Samsung's not quite at the iWatch not, level yet. Not this watch. Okay. They have another watch that probably is comparable, but the active watch, I wouldn't say. Some of the specs include a 1.1 inch AMOLED display. It supports Bluetooth 4.2, and Wi-Fi, however, it doesn't have LTE capabilities. That's okay, for the price, I that's fine. It has built-in GPS for, for running and other all your active wear. It has an NFC chip in it, mm -hmm. so you can use Samsung Pay. It also has a heart rate sensor and five ATM, meaning that it can be submerged underwater for a decent amount of time, like, so you can swim mm -hmm. with that, but you're not gonna be like, Deep diving. Um, yeah, you're not gonna be deep diving with this watch. Some of the other specs include four gigabytes of storage and 230 milliamp hours of battery, which Samsung claim will give you 45 hours of usage on a single charge. This is compared to the 18 hours that Apple's watch can, can do on a single charge. It comes mm -hmm. in four colors, black, silver, rose gold, and sea green. Ooh, mysterious. Mm -hmm. Now, with this new lower price that Samsung has been gunning for, the sub $200 watch, they had to make a couple of sacrifices. One noticeable sacrifice is the dial. Mm -hmm. Before on the Samsung Galaxy Watch, they had a spinning dial that you could use to control its interface. That is gone. And compared to the Apple Watch, it doesn't have the rotating crown which a lot of people like. I mean, when you're active, your hands tend to get wet. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to assume. But it's sort of uncomfortable to use a touchscreen with wet hands. Yeah, I know whenever I am running or something and I need to touch my iPhone, it doesn't work properly because my hands are pretty sweaty. And so I wouldn't want to be touching my watch, mm -hmm. trying to figure out an app or, or change a song or something. I'd rather rotate something physical. At that price point, they had to cut out a couple things and they, agreed, I guess, that that was a feature they could get rid of. These are some of the specs and the prices for the latest Samsung Galaxy Active Watch. If you guys think you're gonna get it, please let us know in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new.